I've been so clairvoyant lately. I've been seeing things in my mind clearly before they happen and then they happen. And there wasn't the labor pool I work for today. They didn't have a work for a bunch of people. I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. Well, there I went to another labor pool and they said they'd have work if I was there at five tomorrow. So I'm just hoping the manager where I stay doesn't throw me out on the street. If he does, I'll just sleep out on the street and then go there tomorrow. But I seen it in my mind last night or this morning before I went to work, the whole scenario. And it's been happening like that a lot. Like a whole lot, more so than usual. And, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I happened a few months ago. I made a video saying I think my family had a hit ordered out on me, and then a guy at work named Nathan who told me he was a neuro linguistic programmer, and when I told him I'm the most targeted person he's ever met. He responded, that's what happens when the military and the government teams up. Um, the day I had a premonition about my family having me shot, and then he warned me on the labor pool bus he, what his exact words were. He said, they rape and kill people, and if you tell people what they do, they have you killed. He warned me. He was in the military. Everything that's been happening to me is being done by the military industrial complex and everybody around me. And, uh, I think they all know, and maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully so. I usually end up being right. I can't get anybody help me. My family hasn't talked to me in months. <clears throat> Even before I started really exposing the stuff they've done online and giving my thoughts on it, which is my right, they weren't talking to me before then. They've used every bad opportunity I've come across to make things more difficult for me to keep me in a position to keep me from talking about what they've done. My stepmother, she knew I lost my apartment because my doorknobs had been removed and changed when I wasn't there and they wouldn't give me my deposit. Like usual when something bad happens to me, she used the uh, and my car messed up. So she used the opportunity to have my cell phone service turned off so I would be completely isolated here in Little Havana. She said on my Facebook publicly, first of all, she said, you are the devil himself and to save the world, we're cutting off your cell phone service. Well, there's Wi-Fi at the place I live at, so. I didn't save anybody. I did receive the word from the Lord. Proceeded, followed by three signs to prove it was His will. And I have been seeing miracles. And I do think they all know that what's going on, that they're going to kill me. Maybe this Saturday, that sign that was up yesterday morning said Miami prepare for the hunt. It was blood red. It says it's some type of online gaming thing, but it was gone that afternoon. It's on Saturday the fifth, the day after the eclipse. Maybe I'm wrong about all this. I sure to God hope so. 
I know people don't understand me. Especially when I say things like I'm the son of the Lord. But that's what these people are trying to do. Well, I didn't say that till I wrote the new covenant. That was a good sign to me. And I'm God's boy. I know it'll be remembered for a long time. Forever. But, uh, I don't know how this week's gonna go. I don't know if he's gonna throw me out on the street today. Or what. I suppose even if he does, I'll go to work in the morning. I gotta... I don't have any cell phone service. So when I get to work, I'm gonna have to take the bus and that's gonna be another complication since I'm not gonna have GPS. I've been completely isolated here. When I first came here, after I had to leave my apartment because they had changed the doorknobs when I wasn't there and I left a belt buckle with the all CNI on it for me to find and wouldn't give me my deposit. I legally changed it, my doorknobs. Uh, Some different people told me about a hostel and that's why I came here. And then not soon, no, I don't have any money. Not long after I moved here, oh, my car was sabotaged by somebody named Ron. Well, he was in the car and I came out and it smelled like rotten eggs. Somebody else knows the smell and then soon after that day, the battery quit working. Of course, my family wouldn't help me with the battery. And then I sold the car 